Welcome back to Update Novi here at the Civic Center campus at Fall for Novi. With me now, I have Novi's Chief of Police, David Malloy. Welcome, Chief. Thanks, Cheryl. And Novi's very first Police Chief, Lee Bagol. Welcome, Chief. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, it's always a great honor to have Chief Bagol join us here at Fall for Novi, the men and women of your department, Chief. Absolutely. We are, we are so proud of our Chief. Uh, he's our friend. He's my mentor. Uh, he's been there along the way for well over 50 years here and this is our one time that we always invite the chief back and he has to go to work for at least one more day he's still getting his retirement but he has to come back for one more day so we're very very proud to have him i just heard him say it was one day only he invites you back one day i come back in uniform <laughs> okay that's and a what day it is. like today is really an honor to me i really think it's great uh, we, we are very pleased to have you out here. So many community members I see stop the both of you, but share stories with you, Chief, and remember your, your service to our community. Well, when I first started, Novi had less than 4,000 people, and because I lived in the fire station, I was also the first full-time fireman. Why, uh, I got to know almost everybody. And today I walk through, and uh, I do, a, meet a few of the people, but really uh, it's such a modern, bustling town now. Mm -hmm. As it's slowly evolved during the about 40 years I was the chief, why? Very Not nice. quite 40, call it 39. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm sure the open houses you had in the police department then are a lot different than what we do now. There's when, no comparison. No comparison. <laughs> what do we <laughs> offer for anyone that's visiting the police department today, Chief? Well, this is our day in which we are so proud and happy to open the doors to, to your police department. And that's what I tell all the people who go through. This isn't my police department. This isn't right. the chief of goals. <laughs> this is your police department. And that's one thing we emphasize with the men and women of the Novi Police <laughs> Department is that we are here in service of the 54,000 plus community members mm -hmm. and the 12 to 1500 businesses and the hundreds of thousands of people that traverse to our community uh, on a daily basis. So we're really proud of that. We got a ton of great giveaways. We, we open the doors, we show everything off. The technology is one of the things I, I'm very proud about, um, but I'm probably most proud about the, the, the core and caliber and the credibility of the men and women that we have. They are the high, highest educated police officers you will find. They are trained to the nth degree and their equipment is second to none. And, and we couldn't do that with the, without the support of the citizens, uh, our elected officials, and our city administration. So we're very proud of that. You know, Mayor Landry and I were just talking uh, previously about the opportunity to interact with city staff. This is an opportunity for community members to interact with men and women in the Novi Police Department in a great situation. They can get to know them, they can actually you know, interact, talk with them, see the equipment they use, um, ride, get on a motorcycle perhaps, sit in a police car, etc. Yeah, everything's wide open. The uh, This year we have a, a, a police cruiser opened up in the training center with the video going so they can see themselves on camera. Uh, we, we have a great partnership with the State Police Bomb Squad. We have the ATF, the DEA. There's a, a multitude of things. The Franklin Bingham Police Department brought their horse out again this year, which is always a great hit. So Let's we're just that. very proud to show our building off. Uh, technology, do they get to uh, try that FATS machine this year? No, the FATS machine right now is uh, actually down for repair, Sorry. but we're hoping Oops. that that'll be back again this uh, next year. Okay. But uh, they get to see all the other high-tech technology that we have. Oh, very cool, very cool. What do you think of all this technology, Chief? Very impressed, mm -hmm. very impressed. A lot different than the one light on at the station years ago, huh? Very different. <laughs> But you know, Cheryl, I, I, think, I think what's really important, though, is that the chief laid the groundwork for this. The chief, uh, in, in his strategic planning and his vision, uh, really laid the groundwork for the effort and that really just flourished. And really, it's just it's about keeping the ship steady. That's all we have to do because of his leadership and his vision throughout the years. Oh, great. I, I hear those stories all the time myself. Uh, we share stories. Uh, I know I've seen you on uh, cable television, a wonderful show, and the history that you provide uh, in, in here in our community. And you're still such a, a dedicated volunteer in our community. It's just very impressive. Well, thank you. Anything you'd like to share with the Novi Television audience? No, but you did make a remark about the one light. Well, actually, I think what she was referring to, when the department started, of course, I lived at the fire hall. And I was also the first police officer, first full-time fireman, but I would have to be away from the station. And at night, we always had a volunteer. If one of the volunteer firemen, as we call them then, if there was a need for the police, you would turn the light on. And then eventually we progressed to two lights, one at the corner. 
<laughs> yeah. So this technology today is a far cry from the two lights. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you ever take the opportunity to ride along with the men and women of the police department just to, to stay current or see what they are, are challenged with today? Uh, Dave has uh, permitted me to do that mm -hmm. and I've enjoyed it and you learn a lot. I bet. I have the opportunity as well and it, it is absolutely incredible. That's something we remind all of our community members as well. If they are ever interested in doing a ride along of that type, just give us a call at the police station or get on to the city's website at cityofnovi.org, drop down to the police tab, shoot me an email and uh, we'll have you come in. You can go through an actual shift briefing, go see what the men and women actually do and when they come in and see the technology that we're utilizing to fight crime and prevent crime in Novi, they're going to be very impressed for their tax dollars. Thank you both for sharing a, you, the, a little bit of time with me today and for opening the police station. It is always a huge hit. People look forward to it every year and I, I greatly appreciate you guys uh, partnering with us. No problem. Thank you again. Well, thank you, for Cheryl. Us. Thank you for uh, watching this segment. Stay tuned. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to bring you another department that's on display right here at Fall for Novi. Don't go away. <laughs>